children spend a large portion of their daily lives in classrooms. In this scenario, teacher speech usually comes from the front of the classroom, while classmates and other noise sources are distributed elsewhere in the room. Children with normal hearing have no difficulty filtering out the teacher's voice. However, some kids struggle to pay attention in class as they are unable to filter out these distracting noises. These kids might suffer from central auditory processing disorder, a dysfunction in the central auditory nervous system that leads to hearing difficulties. The estimated prevalence of this disorder in school-age children range from 2 to 5%. There are several possible causes for this disorder, including delayed maturation of the central auditory nervous system, presence of ectopic cells in the auditory system, otitis media, as well as injury to the central auditory system. Recent studies have shown that the auditory mechanisms of pain narrow integration is one of the main central processes that should be evaluated when investigating auditory processing disorder particularly in cases where there are complaints in locating the sound source or in hearing in noisy environments. The Listening in Spatialized Noise Sentences Test, or LISTENS, was originally developed with the objective of evaluating the spatial processing of individuals with complaints related to the central auditory processing disorder. It is a speech in noise test applied to a dedicated computer software via a headset that produces a three-dimensional virtual auditory environment. A simple repetition response protocol is used to obtain the speech recognition threshold for sentences presented together with competitive speech stimuli, in this case, children's stories. The target sentences and the competitive message are presented to both ears simultaneously. By using appropriate head-related transfer functions, target phrases are processed to be perceived as always coming directly in front of the listener, while competitive speeches are processed to be perceived as coming from the front or the side of the listener, thus providing the listener with a spatial advantage. Moreover, target sentences and competitive speech may be uttered by the same speaker or by different speakers providing the listener with a talker advantage. The listen -S test was or originally developed in Australia, thus presenting audio recorded in Australian English. To develop the Brazilian version of listen -S, 188 sentences, all in Brazilian Portuguese, were selected by the researchers. The sentences were recorded by a single vocal actress in an anechoic chamber. Furthermore, two fairy tale stories, also in Brazilian Portuguese, were recorded by three different female vocal actresses. Sentences were edited to remove noise and long pauses and equalized to have equal equivalent level. A control software together with a graphical user interface was developed in Python. The interface allows the examiner to register the patient's data and start the listen -S test procedure. The patient is instructed to repeat the target sentence presented after the beep and to ignore the competitive stories. After each presentation, the operator registers the number of correctly repeated words into the software that uses this information to adjust the presentation level of the coming sentence in an adaptive fashion. A preliminary study was conducted to determine the relative intelligibility of the recorded sentences and to adjust the level of these sentences for equal intelligibility. Target sentences and competitive stimuli were all presented as coming from the front. The test was divided into six presentation blocks with a rest period in between them. At the end of each block, the speech recognition threshold, or SRT, was estimated. At the end of the trial, the individual response was normalized by its average SRT. After collecting the response from 55 individuals, a psychometric function was adjusted to fit the response to each target sentence. These results were used to select 120 sentences, which were then adjusted in amplitude for equal intelligibility and later used in the normative data study. Normative data was collected from 48 children with verified normal hearing, ages 7 to 10 years, 
who were recruited and tested at a local primary school. The test was conducted much in the same manner as in the previous case. However, now four presentation conditions were tested. Same voice and all sources in front are the low Q condition. Same voices and competitive stories from the side or the spatial advantage condition. Different voices and all sources in front or the talker advantage condition. And different voices and competitive stories from the side or the high Q condition. Here is an example of how listeners in Brazilian Portuguese works. It starts with an opening screen that reminds the operator to check if audio volume is set to maximum and if all audio effects are turned off. By clicking Next, a tab opens for the operator to input patient's data, including name, surname, date of birth and sex. Again, by clicking Next, a test tab opens. This tab displays all test information such as test condition, sound level for target sentence and competitive stimuli, current target sentence, a number pad to enter the number of correct words, and the test statistics. The test starts when the operator clicks start. For what follows, make sure you are wearing headphones to listen. We start with an example for the low Q condition. O cavalo come a grama. Estava de um marido, um tecido para fazer um galho mais Ele soprou as velas. A rua estava com muitos buracos. Um dia, eles abriram a mala e começaram a tirar o que alguma coisa estava tirando da capoeira mais próxima. Eles fingiam que na hora o galo deu uma corridinha. Sacudiu então, as, as pessoas que estavam perto e saltou, mas não era para fingir que estava ouvindo o galo para não passarem por dentro. Só eles conseguiram ver que ele estava com medo. Now an example for the spatial advantage condition. Era um galo do mato. Muito o cavalo pasta no campo. A ovelha está deitada. Mas antes de mostrar o sol, a mãe alimentou um pequeno papagaio. Só as pessoas espertas conseguiam ver. As crianças gostam de comer na carne. Ele reparou que alguma coisa estava se mexendo na capa mais próxima. Eles fingiam que mesmo na hora o galo deu uma corridinha. Sacudiu então, as, as pessoas, pessoas que estavam perto e saltou, mais que dizia que estavam ouvindo o goiabo para não passarem por dentro. Só eles sabiam que ele estava com medo. And now, an example for the talker advantage condition. Era um galo Era do uma mato, vez um muito rei. quietinho muito no seu campo. A criança muito está alegre. Ninguém. Se escavam de comer no quintal, para ele. cantava nos As pessoas andam alto muito devagar. Quando Mas, saía o sol, antes de mostrar ele via de olho no mato. Eles disseram com medo que ele alimentou as galinhas que pudesse aparecer. Que só as pessoas um muito dia, espertas logo depois da lua, papai vai para o que alguma coisa estava se mexendo na capoeira mais próxima. Tirar o tecido, o galo deu uma corridinha. Eles fingiam que tiravam, mas não havia nada na mala. E saltou. And to conclude, an example of the high Q condition. Era um galo do mato, muito quietinho no seu campo. Mamãe abriu a geladeira. Se escavam de comer no quintal, uma mulher parou o ônibus. Cantava no galho mais alto da goiabeira quando saía o sol. Ele dormiu no chão. Ele de olho no mato. Eles disseram que medo de que alguma rapa fantástica pudesse aparecer. Só as pessoas um dia, logo depois da lua, tem uma cara que alguma coisa estava se mexendo na capoeira mais próxima. Tirar o tecido, o galo deu uma corridinha, ele se sentiu que tirava, para mas não havia nada na mala. Então, então que as pessoas que estavam da perto do rei, rei foi começaram a pedir que estavam vendo o pano sempre para não passarem por todos. E o rei de An analysis of variance indicated that there was a significant main effect for location, but not for voice. In other words, we were able to confirm spatial advantage but not talker advantage. No significant main effect was observed for sex or age or presentation order. We are currently concluding the statistical analysis for the normative data. Meanwhile, a patent has been filed and we plan to soon license the LSNS test in Brazilian Portuguese. Hopefully, in the near future, audiologists spread throughout Brazil will be able to include this test to their central auditory processing assessments.
We conclude by thanking our institutions that supported this work and the Sao Paulo Research Foundation that funded this research.